Hey, I'm Mayor West. I want to show you guys how to attach the rope to the harness. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the simplest knot in the world. It's called an overhand knot. All I do is I make a loop, bring the end up through the loop, and there we go. That's an overhand knot. It's nice to start off with that because I'm going to use that same loop to tie the next knot called a figure eight. There's my loop. Only difference is this time I'm going to give it one extra twist. That twist is called a half turn. Now, when I bring the end up through the loop, I've got a figure eight. Okay, I've got a figure eight knot. What I need to do to tie the next knot, the follow through, is I have to develop enough slack here to be able to work this all the way back through. So that's about three and a half feet. So what I'm going to do is just pull that slack from here and continue to pull it out through the other end of the knot. Now I've got about three and a half feet of slack here. Now that I've got all that extra slack, I can attach it to the strong point of the harness. I'm going to bring the knot real close to that harness right there. The first step, and this is key, is I'm going to move the rope over so I can bring the working end up to this point. And by doing that, it helps keep my ropes lined up. I'm going to pull all that slack through and keep the knot close to the harness. Now I can see the figure eight shape that I'm following here. So the working end comes under, over, under again, and then over here, and finally up through that eye in the top. Now by flipping this outside edge down, I can dress the knot and make it symmetrical on both sides. Now what I want to do is bring this knot just a little bit closer. I'm going to do that just by bringing that slack out through there, working it around again, just like that. To double check this knot, I'm going to count the strands starting right here. I'm going to count them in twos, two, four, six, eight, and ten. Now to tie the backup knot, I'm going to grab onto this spot where I counted ten and stick my thumb up. Taking the working end, I'm going to wrap it around my thumb and the other rope. I'm going to wrap that twice, making sure that the second wrap comes below the first wrap. Bringing that working end all the way around, I can take my thumb out and bring the end up through those two loops that my thumb was, where my thumb was. Pull that nice and tight, give it a little snug, we've got ourselves a backup knot. Now to double check the whole thing, I'm going to count that 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and looking at the backup knot, we can see that this side looks like an equal sign, and this side looks like an X, or the Roman numeral for 10, so the equation is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 equals 10. into a two strong point harness, one for the legs and one for the waist. So I've got to bring that working end through both these points. Bringing that knot close to my harness, I'm going to move this strand over and bring the working end up through the side. Pull all that slack through, around the outside, through the middle, over there, the eye on the top, pressing the knot, let's double check it, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, backup knot, I'm going to do two wraps, second wrap coils underneath the first, taking my thumb out, I'm going to put the working end right up to where my thumb was, cinch it up, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, equals an X, Roman numeral for 10.